They haven't been good enough, says Sam Allardyce about Leeds United. No win in nine to finish the season. They conceded 29 goals in those final nine games and ended up the worst defence in the Premier League. 78 conceded this season. Was that their undoing, Jamie? Yeah, and that's why Sam Allardyce was brought in, to try and change that. They'd had a completely different style of football with two or three different managers, front foot, energetic. It was exciting. It was end-to-end -end as a neutral, certainly, to watch them. But I could understand he brings Sam Allardyce in and try and think, let's do something completely different, try and keep clean sheet, be difficult to beat. He changed the goalkeeper, which I think he had to do. But I just think when I watch Leeds... They've got really poor individual defenders who will always make mistakes. And I actually didn't believe they could win that game today. Even though Tottenham were in such a poor run, I thought with the quality Tottenham have an attack, they'll, they'll expose Leeds because individually, they, I mentioned the goalkeeper, and you mentioned goalkeepers before. When you look at the three teams that have been relegated, the goalkeepers have been poor. And you think of Everton just above that, Pickford has probably had a decent season for them, but compared to the, the other three down there, they've made a big difference. And Melia, I mean, I mentioned that through the season. I think he's looked a little bit short at this level, but uh, but no, I think we enjoyed them coming back. It was one of those clubs that we all wanted to come back, being out the Premier League for a long time, and it's a big club, so it would be sad to uh, to lose them. Look weak, didn't it? They look weak recently over the last yeah. month or two, and even with Sam coming in, he's mentioned they're they're fighting for their lives today, and they, they concede four goals at home. You know, it's nowhere near good enough. Despite whatever Sam was trying to do over the last few weeks, obviously came in too late, but defensively, like, like's been said, they look like, so weak. Some of the goals we were looking at there. It's almost uh, pub team defending, really not good enough, not strong enough mentally, that desire, nowhere near good enough. I'm sure there'll be questions asked as well about the, the transfer record spend on uh, Jorginho Ruta in January when they were conceding goals left, right and centre, £36 million. And the truth is we've barely seen him uh, since January. Um, you will know, Micah, that, that Leeds were 16 years away. You know, who do you think right now looks best placed of those three relegated clubs to make a, a quick return? It's, it's hard, isn't it? I mean, probably... Le it depends who they keep. You know, we, you go to the, the transfer market, who stays and who goes. Um, but it feels like all, all are ready for an overhaul. Yeah, but Southampton was always talking about they was um, a stable club, the way they recruited, the way they brought players in, and then they had a period of time where they could approve, they could sell them on. So you'd say Southampton's quite stable. Leeds... He's going manager, to, maker, who's got I, the I, manager? That's what I mean, but it's like an open-ended question. Because but it's, it's Southampton, even before the last game, they know who the manager is next season. They brought Russell Martin straight. It'll be really interesting how long Leeds or Leicester actually take to appoint a new manager or whether these managers were there now stay on. Dean Smith said he, you know, he's not quite sure if he's going to be there or not. I think they've got to be really decisive and announce that in the next sort of week or so. Will they stick with Sam Allardyce? His last promotion was 2012, no, no, 2012 I, with West Ham. I don't think so. I think Leeds' biggest problem was getting rid of Bielsa. And we, we, we can talk about looking back, but the way in which he was loved in the city, obviously I'm from Leeds. You know, I hear it from Leeds fans all, all the time, pretty much every single day. And then went to a style of play and then Jesse Marsh sort of implemented his style of play, tweaked little bits, and then went from a high-pressing, high-energy team to a sort of a low block with under Gracia. So all that they've been working to, they've completely changed. And then you bring Big Sam in. You know how Big Sam plays. You know, he wants to be um, defensive. He wants to have that stability and then go forward. But they had too many different systems in too short a time for all what they've learned. They said the other day that I think it was... Um, the, the right back Ailing said they're not fit enough. And that's what Leeds was built on their success, running over teams. And now they just look very short. Big, so he can't imagine Big Sam wanting to go back to the championship. Not with his ego. Well, it felt like, I mean, we did that game, the Leeds Palace game, when, when Leeds looked in control at one stage in that game, and then the floodgates opened and, and they haven't been able to shut them since, and it's ended up with them joining Southampton and Leicester City in the championship next season.